Hey, AB here from B&H. Wouldn't it be great if Shure took its very popular and highly respected SM7B, combined it with one of their USB mics like the MV88 Plus, giving you the best of both analog and digital? Well, they kind of did with this new MV7. This is a dynamic microphone that features not only an XLR output for connecting to standalone podcast machines and audio interfaces, microphone preamps, etc., but it also has a USB output, making it compatible with computers and mobile devices like smartphones and tablets. If you pair it with Shure's free Shure Plus Motive app, you're getting a whole lot of technological advancement that really makes this mic so much more powerful than your standard standard USB microphone. I'm going to get into all those features a little bit later on, but let me just say this first. If you are a podcaster, a radio show host, a gamer, a singer, or really anyone who needs a great mic for a wide variety of audio applications, this is one you need to check out. Like the SM7B, the MV7 sports a design that lends itself to capturing clear audio in less than ideal acoustic environments. Shure refers to this as voice isolation technology, and what this really means is that because the mic has a directional dynamic capsule, it does a great job of rejecting ambient noise while maintaining an upfront sound when recording your voice. It also has an integrated shock mount which helps prevent vibrations from making their way to the capsule, and it has a naturally warm tone like the SM7B, which I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. Another feature that I really like on the MV7 is the way they designed this yoke. Uh, this is the part that holds the mic in place, and unlike the SM7B, M7B, which has a limited range of motion, um, this mic fully rotates within its yoke. So you can really place this on any kind of stand, a straight stand, a boom arm stand. So you're not going to have any issues in terms of placing it just where you want it. Despite the comparisons between the models, it's the USB functionality that really sets the MV7 apart from the SM7B. When connected via USB, you now have a great mic that is compatible with both Windows and Mac computers, as well as Android and iOS smartphones and tablets. And all you'd need to do is download the free Shure Plus Motive desktop or mobile app uh, to be able to control all the functions and features of the microphone. And I'll tell you that the level of control you get over the MV7 is pretty impressive. You can adjust the mic gain, mic mute, EQ, limiter, and compressor. And since the MV7 has a 3.5 millimeter direct headphone monitoring jack on the back of the mic for real-time monitoring, there's also a control in the app for monitor mix, which lets you dial in the right mix between what you're hearing directly from the mic and the overall audio coming from the device you're recording to, which is great. And of course, having the ability to adjust all these parameters is, is definitely convenient. But if you're somebody who wants to just plug and play without a whole lot of tweaking, there is an auto level mode, which automatically adjusts the tone and mic position of the MV7. When in this mode, the level of your voice will be constantly adjusted automatically throughout the recording process to ensure a consistent output of your voice. This definitely gives you peace of mind while you're on the mic, but it can also make things easier for you in terms of editing if you decide to further treat that audio in post. You know what, why don't we try this auto level mode really quickly. I'm gonna go over here in the menu, choose auto level mode. Ah, look at that. I'm gonna leave it on natural voice and I'm gonna choose far uh, since we've been recording everything else up close. And I want to see how well this does in terms of picking up my voice as I move away from the mic. So here I am talking, 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 talking. And I'm kind of far away from a dynamic mic uh, to be using it this way. But the good thing about this is that if you're in a scenario where you need to be moving around or you're hosting a show, you're looking for things, you want to keep talking, you don't want to miss recording anything that you're saying, uh, this is a good mode that lets you still capture your voice um, without losing something important. And here's the other thing too, I, I noticed that if I talk off axis, it's still hearing me. So I don't have to be right in front of the capsule for it to uh, still hear what I'm saying. And there's another thing that Shore did with the MV7 that I really think highlights just how much thought they gave to the end user. They were smart enough to know that we're not always gonna wanna jump in and out of software to keep making adjustments to the mic. So the MV7 features a built-in touch panel that lets you adjust parameters like microphone gain, headphone volume, monitor mix, muting, and even exiting auto level mode. Depending on the parameter, you would either press it on or off, or you would slide your finger to either increase or decrease that setting. Once you are done with your setup, you can lock the touch panel so you don't accidentally change the settings during recording. 
And those are pretty much the main features of the MV7. If you decide to buy one, you have a choice of two colors, black or gray, and they ship with a three meter micro USB to USB-A cable and a three meter micro USB to USB-C cable. You don't get a mic stand, but you do get a thread adapter. So that makes the MV7 compatible with a wide variety of mic stands that are already out there. And that's it for my look at Shure's MV7, a very exciting new microphone. For more information on this or any other Shure products, please check out bhphoto.com. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This is AB, and I'll see you next time.